there have been many names given to that dark entity over the years. But the most common, or at least the one I know, is the Dark Visitor. That entity is supposed to have existed since the dawn of time and is considered neither evil nor good, but dangerous if allowed to be. It can take many forms, but at most times when it appears to humans, it takes the form of a tall, slim, human-like dark creature. It is said that it searches for weak people. People who are sad, have a lack of motivation, or simply can't stand on their own. When it finds somebody weak, it sticks to him, feeding on his own vital energy until the victim eventually loses all hope for life and dies in a mysterious way or commits suicide. Victims of the Dark Visitor become antisocial, constantly depressed, and exhausted. The Dark Visitor chooses to feed when a person is sleeping, especially at night, as we are the most vulnerable and he is the most powerful. If you have any of the symptoms and the Dark Visitor is already on you, you can see him simply by attempting astral projection while you sleep and he will be there. All you have to do is strongly imagine him before you sleep and try to vitalize him in your room. Trust me, he will appear if he is on you already. If you attempt to see him and he realizes it, he will suck your entire vital energy and you will suffer a slow and painful death. As time is different in our sleep, he can kill you in seconds and make it seem like months or years of pain. There is also a way to summon him, but I strongly recommend you don't do this, as it will possibly result in your death. The only way you can see him is in your sleep, and you will need the following things to do the summoning. Eight white candles, a photograph of you being happy. It doesn't matter what you do, it just needs to show you being happy. A drop of your blood, a mirror which you can move, and that can depict at least half of your body. A piece of paper, a marker, and a lighter. The summoning must take place after midnight. You start by lighting the candles and placing them around your bed in a circle. If your bed is very close to a wall, do that in the part around your bed. Then place the mirror somewhere near the bed where you can see yourself while being in your bed. In front of the mirror, Place the photo of you being happy and drop a little bit of your blood on the photo. The dark visitor will use the mirror as a portal as he is mostly a being that travels in between many dimensions and the mirror will make it easier for him to appear. As for the photo, he is drawn to anything that reminds you of happy moments, as he seeks them to suck the positive energy you have from them, and the blood will attract them even more to you. Then, take the piece of paper and write the following words with the marker. Martemus Biasis Monde Kokapati Vendersol. There is no known translation to this. It is just rumored to be the words that summon him in an unknown language. You will then burn the paper and place what is left under your bed. This part can be skipped, but know that doing this 
will not ensure that he will appear. If you don't do it, there is a slight possibility he won't come, as these words call him in a language only he understands. Now all you have to do is sleep in your bed. As soon as you fall asleep, he will still be in your room in a dreamlike situation. But guess what? He will be there. After he sees you, he will slowly come close to you and try to suck all of your energy. The good news is that you can try to walk away from him. Leave your house and run. At dawn, you will wake up if you manage to avoid him. But know this, the time he will be chasing you may seem like a month or even a year in a dreamlike situation. So it's close to impossible to lose him. And even if you manage to wake up and survive the night, he will still be following you and sucking your life energy slowly, day by day, as he does to his random victims. But because you summoned him, you will die faster than a normal victim.